our rudder. Mod 70 rudder. Bow of a Mod 70. And the foil of a Mod 70. Getting ready, Dad? Gonna race through some laminating. Great tacky tape. Fans on. Oh, look at that. There's a vacuum bag. And up here, we have some of the rolls of fiberglass. There's a rudder hanging up. Coolness. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so here we're applying a new bag because the other one has holes in it, so we tried to seal it up, but that hasn't worked, so we'll put Dad's putting on a new bag to hopefully seal it up. What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Welcome to the mess that is Shannon Anna's coffee. Is this potting? Yeah. You said you were going to pot that. So you've used, oh, this is it here. So we've used the green thing here is the rudder bearing from the old rudder so the inside diameter needed to be bigger so we had that done yesterday here in St Martin which is fantastic thank you FKG they're awesome and now this is our new rudder so far you managed to put the fiberglass on it while we're in Antigua, Shane. You had use of a vacuum pump. You put it under vacuum, didn't you? Um, yeah. So it's actually professionally done, really. I wasn't getting paid for it, so it wasn't professional. <laughs> okay, on well, that argument, nothing you've done on this boat's been very professional. <laughs> exactly, just an empty. Are you okay? Tired. Tired. So. Still busy working. We've got, I don't know how many projects on the go at once. This is even... I think we showed up until putting the bog on, and now you've got these templates here. Yeah, so I've just cut out. Out of bits of plywood, and yeah. you have so just normally glued... I'd, la I'd laser cut these out of steel for the accuracy, but my laser cutter's broken down on board at the moment, so I can't use it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He would like a laser cutter on board, by the way, and a 3D printer, and a CNC machine, and all sorts. But in the meantime, we'll just do this. Yep. In the meantime, I'm hand cutting um, templates or of the profiles uh, to make sure that the fairing that I've put on the rudder is to the final finished shape um, that I that is desired. So, and can you show me again? Because you had you showed just showed me your how it worked basically. Was it this one or was it the other piece? Uh, it was another piece. So oh, this, this one I've one. finished. Okay, so then over here is yeah. a rudder. So this profile goes, you may, not, may or may not see there's actually a black line here. It goes where that black line is. And if I put it on here It actually stops. It won't get to where the black line is. It's touching right at the front. And then there's a gap here, and it's actually touching from here to here because I've actually put too much fairing compound in this trailing edge bit, and there's not enough hollow in the actual trailing edge to match the profile. So I have to sand away some filler to get it to the correct profile for the profile to go where it's meant to be. So I can check that the shapes are correct. And then up here, where you have actually sanded away bits of the carbon, that's for I don't know if you, for putting the attaching the steering. That's yeah, the tiller will attach to that. So that's the the big square drive. Which you still need to make. Which I still need to make the tiller. Okay. Oh, 
that's where we're at and I don't know five days in which to do it before we're hoping to cross to the Atlantic. Cross the Atlantic, keeps the time to test everything before we go. joining this bit onto that bit. Oh, it goes like that, huh? <laughs> the right way, the right way. Life changes just open the door. One thing certain, I'll always be Barry's here to 
check it all out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.